Hey guys, what's up? This is Matt with Conservative Trades. Hope you guys are doing all right today. Uh, for those of you who were in the live stream, you can see that I'm ending the day down just a little bit under where I was at. Um, and you can see here from Shares Traded, I ended up taking uh, several other trades. And um, my, my intentions were on TWLO to, uh, to look for this breakdown here. And uh, we got we got a, a pretty clear close below this 20 moving average for the first time. Uh, you can see this time back here, it, it got bought up off of it, but we had a close here. And I just I really thought we were going to lose these levels. And, and, and for me, it was, you know, it, it was a reasonable trade to take. Um, but as you can see here on this candle here and, and it came back. And, and I guess what I thought was, I thought that, you know, the, the stock is still weak, um, you know, basically double topped and it even broke out past here and failed. And so usually that's a that's a bearish signal. You know, whenever there's a, there's a stock that has a major run up, uh, just a massive run up and then it and then it comes back, retraces, you know, holds the holds the VWAP, holds the moving averages and then comes up again and then bursts out and breaks high of day. Normally, you can see continuation from there. And when when it, when you don't, when it fails and there starts to be another massive sell off, typically buyers on both sides of the double top get really nervous at that at that time. And, um, you know, and then especially here, like I said, we had a. Um, uh, an actual close but below the, the the 20 EMA and so you know I just thought guys I, I really thought I was convinced that there was just a you know this was just a minor little pullback short squeeze um, and then it was going to come back down because you see it actually did come back down um, but then it got bought up and then there was this major push and and so I got out and I and I took a pretty significant loss I mean I not not a ton. I, I, was, I was trading with small share size and again this is what I always tell everybody I mean this is this is you know the best thing about trading with conservative share size especially if you're a beginner trader and you have a smaller account and you're not you know you don't have you know hundreds of thousands of dollars to, to just blow in trading or to or to or to trade with you know um, I, I don't think people understand when they get into j day trading just how how on edge you'll be and how much pressure there is when you have a certain amount of money to trade with and you're and you're really wanting to, to to make this work and you're really wanting to day trade for a living and you know you 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 really want to preserve your capital I mean there's just a whole nother mentality that goes along with that and so when you trade with conservative share size and you you just come in with with small share size you really do uh, I guess mentally put yourself in a much more comfortable position to not only let trades play out but to also take losses if you have to and to not feel too bad about it and so even here on this trade where you can see it just got bought right back up and my trade idea was wrong point blank my trade idea was wrong but even on on this pullback here you know I only lost like I don't know maybe maybe 40 50 bucks and so <clears throat> I, I was up at the, at the time I was up like 80 on the day and so, you know, so I had to I had to fight my way back. I had to take a few other scalping trades to, to scout my way back up to here. But um, unfortunately, when when all is said and done after uh, fees and commissions, I mean, I, I'm probably really only up like 20 some dollars on the day. OK, so but you know what? Hey, 20 bucks is better than no bucks and 20 bucks is definitely better than negative 20 bucks or negative 100 bucks or whatever it could end up being after fees and commissions i i've got a really good commission uh structure here with light speed and typically because i trade with such low share size i mean most most of these tickets are just they it just cost me a dollar cost me a dollar a trade and so um i only have like maybe i don't know you know 40 tickets here 40 some tickets here and so uh, with ECN fees routing fees and all that stuff taken in, into consideration I'm probably down about 50 bucks from here after fees and commissions so like I said you know so I made 25 bucks today and you know I'm fine with that it's 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 basically a, a wash day um, but you know uh, that the other good part about my my situation is you know I do have another job I've got other work that I do here from home and so when I'm not trading you know obviously I'll, I'll keep I'll keep the broker up or you know I'll minimize it and then pull it up every now and then just to check on it and if I see something interesting I can always jump it back in on a trade um, and a lot of times I set alerts but um, when you have another job and you have other work that you can do in other and another stream of income that also relieves the burden so you know even though you know, I've, I've, I've only made, you know, 76 bucks today or, or 25 bucks, whatever, after fees and commissions. Um, it's not it's not that bothersome to me because I have other work. I have other work that I did this week. I made money or, or other work that I have today and I made money today doing that. And so 
anyway, guys, th this video is not going to be so much on a lesson with, with trading. I mean, honestly, all, all of the trades I took today were very much scalping type trades and, uh, you know, just making money on pullbacks, making good money on pullbacks. You can see here, I took a couple uh, quick scalping trades on Uber and, um, you know, made, made almost 40 bucks. This was literally just two trades that I took here, just two trades on Uber. Okay. And they each lasted, you know, a couple minutes at best. You can see actually in here, let me, um, oh, wow. And look at this. Uber's getting, Uber's getting a massive buy up right now. I don't know if they're reporting earnings or what the deal is. Um, but I'll show you here on Uber. So one trade here came up to here and I went 200 shares short, bought it back right here. And I actually, I should have let that, you know, ride out a little bit more, but I didn't know what it was going to do. The spy, you know, it was kind of following the spy and the spy looked like it, it was making some moves back up. So I went ahead and got, you know, just, just quick scalp, like I said, and then same thing here. It popped up here over VWAP. I started averaging into my position here. I was actually hoping it was going to come up more and I was going to get an average in all the way up to about these levels here, uh, because this is, would have been acting as previous resistance, all this area right here. And so I was going to average in all the way up to here and hopefully get a move back to towards VWAP and, and get out with a larger share size and a, and a bigger profit. But it, it popped up here and it started coming back. And I thought to myself, well, um, you know, I'll just go ahead and take the scalp again. I was doing some other work and I really didn't have time to watch it. And so, um, just because it didn't continue the, the run up here and it looked like it was going to teeter around these levels for a while. Like I said, I, I just got out with a quick scalp. So, so there's, you know, there's a little trade there on Uber. Um, but yeah, there's there's really not too much to talk about today. I think the, the, the main thing that I really wanted to to talk about today was just, you know, uh, you know, again, taking conservative share size. And, and, and this is for those of you who have small accounts and you're you're just an average Joe trader, just like me. You know, you don't have all this money, you know, to try to 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 build your account with. And you want to be very careful with it. And yes, we all know that we shouldn't trade with any money that we're not willing to lose. We, we know that we understand that this most basic, most, you know, basic fundamental principle of, of day trading, of investing, what have you, but still at the same time, we don't want to lose that money. Even though, yes, we can afford to lose it. We don't want to lose it because we're trying to build a day trading career. And I think it's so difficult for people out there to get over the hump um, because they, they, you know, they, they don't understand what kind of pressure starts hitting them when they realize that their their hard-earned dollars are on the line you know and if you come in here and you start jumping in with huge share size you know it's going to be hard to stomach those types of trades it's going to be really hard hard to stomach but you know what you can stomach you know 100 shares here and there look 200 shares 25 shares 50 shares you can stomach that you know because ultimately you're you're going to be able to preserve your capital long enough to to develop a, a, a pretty solid strategy. And so anyway, guys, I just wanted this to be more of an encouraging video for you guys. And if you're new to the channel, hey, look, consider subscribing. Um, I, look, I, I'm not I'm not the, the most fancy day trader out there. Yeah, I'm not, you know, sitting here blowing you away with thousands of dollars of profit every day. But I am a very realistic representation of what most day traders are. OK. Um, except for the ones that fail because I haven't failed yet. Right. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I would love for you to join the channel and, and consider joining us in the live stream. We do stream live here Monday through Friday, beginning around 9 a.m. And um, we got a really, really good group of, of uh, day traders, a really good solid community, I should say, that, that we've been building here for the last couple of months. And so anyway, look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Take care.